This is a problem from the homework. Um, this is from zero point, I want to say zero point two. We're supposed to be adding fractions and we don't have a common denominator right now. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do, we gotta find a common denominator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down our numbers. So 30, when I break down 30, I know that that's five times six. I can't break down five, but I can break down six into two and three. So 30 is gonna be two times three times five, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with my number 40. I'm gonna break this down. I know that's five times eight. Well, I can't break down five, but I can break down eight into two times four. I can't break down four. I'm sorry, I can't break down two, but I can break down four into two times two. So 40 is gonna be two times two times two times five, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the number eight. So I'm gonna break this down into two times four. Again, I can't break down that two, but I can break down that four into two times two. Oops, two times two, okay? So eight is gonna be two times two times two. Now, what I need to do is I need to find my least common denominator, okay? So the way I'm gonna do this, y'all, I'm gonna look at the numbers that I have in these boxes. And if I think about it, I have three different numbers in the boxes. I got the number two, I got the number three, and I got the number five, right? Okay, so now the question becomes, well, how many times do I need to write down the number two? How many times do I need to write down the number three? How many times do I need to write down the number five? If I look at this first box, the number two only occurs one time, okay? If I look at this box, there's three twos. And if I look at this box, there's three twos. So in any of those boxes, the most number of times that I ever saw my number two was three times. So I'm going to write down the number two three times. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the number three. Well, I have a three right here. I don't have any threes there, and I don't have any threes there, so the most number of threes I ever saw in any one box was one. And I'm going to do finally the same thing with the number five. This box has one five, and this box has one five, and this one doesn't have any. So these have more, but they only have one five, and that's the number that I need. So now what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to multiply those numbers together. So let me get my calculator. Let's see, clear this out. I got two times two times two times three times five. I'm coming up with 120. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna write three fractions with the number 120, okay? And I'll actually, I'll do it this way. Let me show you how I'm gonna do this now. Come back here. Let's bring up that same problem. Let's zoom in a little bit right there. Okay, so we said we're going to write three fractions with the number 120 all the way across because that was our common denominator. So there's a couple of ways we can go about doing this. One way we can say is that we can say, look, I need to figure out what do I need to multiply 30 by to get 120. So one way you can do it is you can say, look, let's take 120, divide it by 30, that's 4. Which tells me I have to multiply this number by 4, so i got to do that number by 4. So 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 5 is 20 itself. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the number 40. So I'm going to take, let me get my number here. 120 divided by 40 is 3. So I'm going to multiply this number by 3. I'm going to do that number by 3. So 3 times 40, there's my 120. 3 times 9 is 27. Okay. And I'm going to do this a third time with the number 8. Okay. So I'm going to take 120 and divide it by 8. That's 15. So i got to multiply this one by 15 and that one by 15. So 8 times 15, there's my 120. 15 times 1 is 15. Now, these all were being added. Okay. Go back to my black marker. Okay, that's 120 on the bottom. Let me add my numbers on top. So we have 20 plus 27 plus 15. Those are my numbers on top. And I'm coming to 62. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to reduce my fractions if I can. And it looks like we can at least divide both of these numbers here by 2. Okay. So half of 62 is 31. Half of 120 is 60. I can't reduce any more. 
And so that's where I'm going to stop. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know.